When people hear the word dessert, they automatically think decadent or bad for me. But that's not the case with my apple butterscotch cake. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss. Let's get started. All right, we've got a bowl here with all-purpose flour, and we're gonna add whole wheat flour to that. You know, I, when I bake, I don't just use white flour because, you know, white flour, not exactly the most nutritious ingredient. I'll add some white and some whole wheat so we get better nutrition that way, more fiber, more nutrients. We're gonna add some sugar. Don't be afraid of sugar. You just wanna make sure that the rest of the ingredients are nutritious so that sugar goes hand in hand with great nutrition. We're adding ground flaxseed. I've got a quarter of a cup here. Ground flaxseed is a great source of heart healthy omega-3 fats. We all need to be eating more of those. We've got baking powder that we're gonna add, a little bit of salt, cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice mix, whatever you've got on hand, and a little bit of baking soda. And then all we do is whisk this together. Once that's all whisked together, we'll move on to our liquid ingredients. And we've got a couple of eggs. We have three eggs here, three large eggs. And to that, we'll add canola oil. It's a really great all-purpose oil to use. It also contains some of those good for you omega-3 fats that I just talked about. We've got applesauce, half a cup. Just plain old applesauce. And our star ingredient, which is grated apples. So you can see this is what our grated apple looks like. And we'll just go ahead and add that. All right. And we're gonna stir this all together. Now that the apples are all mixed in, we'll go ahead and combine the liquid ingredients with the dry ingredients. Now this batter is gonna be a very thick batter and you're gonna think, wow, is that recipe really gonna work? Indeed it does. I make this all the time for my family. It's one of our favorites. So we mix this together, and as we go, we're gonna add butterscotch chips. Now this is a third cup of butterscotch chips. You don't need a lot of them. You'll get at least one or two chips in every bite. They're very flavorful. This is a nice thick batter. I just gotta work out mixing it all together. Now all we have to do is bake it in a nine by 13 baking dish for 35 minutes, and we'll do that at 350. So our apple butterscotch cake is done. And as you can see, it's nice and golden brown around the edges. Another way to know when it's done is that you can insert a toothpick in the center and if it comes out clean, then you're also done. All right, you can let this sit and cool or if you're like me and you're just too eager, you can cut a, a nice slice and serve it with a scoop of low-fat vanilla frozen yogurt. Mmm. That is so moist and flavorful. I love it with that yogurt. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.